Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snake Doc here, and we're going to do another holster style video today. Again, we have something sent to me from Craft Holsters, www.craftholsters.com. Remember, use code Snake Doc and you get 10% off from their items. They have tons of different stuff, and uh, I get asked a lot, you know, what do you do if you're wearing active wear? Like I have on these pair of Reebok pants here. They're just a, like a warm-up jogger um, and a t-shirt. So let's say you're going for a run or you were going to work out or if you're just playing basketball in the yard with the kids or something like that. Um, basically what your options are going to be, you could do a belly band. So I had them send me this belly band holster here. And these are made for them by Falco. So we can see here we have a Falco logo. It's like a rubberized disc right here. Uh, we have the holster portion of it right here as a retention strap. That, we'll have to see how that works. Um, I wasn't really crazy about having a retention strap on there, but we'll see. And then also you have an extra storage pocket right here that's stitched across the bottom. Um, for carrying it, you can either put like your wallet in there, your CCW permit, um, or extra magazines, or if you had, if you were carrying a revolver in there, you know, you could stick some speed strips in there. Um, so extra ammunition. So you also have um, mag pouch right here, and here is another portion um, Looks like there's two different places that you could actually put a pistol on here. This one, if uh, I'm going to come in a little bit closer and hopefully you can see, this one has a trigger guard stitching outline. Um, and it's kind of slanted stitch here. Again, retention strap. And then this one is just kind of squared. So I don't know if that would be better for like the revolver on that part um, without having that trigger guard outline stitched like that. So. How do you put these on? Well, you gotta figure out where you wanna carry it first. I probably want it like here. So what I'm gonna do is take the strap and go around my body like this, figure out where that's gonna be. And then you just take your Velcro and line it up and cinch it down. And you can go low like this and then bring your pants up on it and then you would still have it like this. So I have my Mossberg uh, MC2C here, and this is, of course, empty. Um, so I just wanna show here how this would go. Undo your attention strap. Locate your pistol. Make sure that trigger guard isn't hooked. This is that elastic material here. So there you can see we're in nice and deep. You could go over the back of the slide like this, which I think I'm gonna do, because I wanna see if I can draw. So here we go, let me get my pants back up just a little bit. So in this position right here, um, am I able to draw? Not really, it would probably be a two-handed thing. Um, so, it is concealed, however, it does print right here because I am just wearing a t-shirt, but if I had a zip-up sweatshirt or, or a pullover um, fleece or something like that on, it would be definitely hidden. Um, so how would I get to this? Well, I would pull up here. I guess I would grab down with the strap and draw like this. Um, the strap is gonna stay affixed with the Velcro, um, or maybe you could try, let's try catching that on the draw stroke and see what happens here. So let's put that back down over top of the slide again. Put the t-shirt down and if I had to get to it fast, I would grab here, pull up on this and this at the same time because I was able to find that with my fingertip and then I'm able to access the pistol really quickly. So let me pop the mag out here and show how that would be with the spare mag alongside of it. Looks like there's a spot right here that's stitched. So I could have a spare mag. On this case, my 13 round is flush. My 15 round has an extended base plate, so it would sit up nice and accessible here. So let me do this up again here. So if I went 
all I'm doing is when I pull my t-shirt close, I grab it and there's a little bit right here that sticks out. So I can hook that with my finger, pull that, get the gun, bang, bang. If I had to do a mag dump, I could grab this, come in, charge it, and be back in. So um, it's comfortable. It really feels good on the body, I'll tell you. Um, it's not obtrusive. Uh, it's not scratchy, and this is right up against bare skin. If you had a uh, sensitive skin, you know, you could wear like a um, tank top or a uh, a form-fitting t-shirt like a um, Under Armour style moisture wicking t-shirt underneath this then put your belly band on and then wear your overgarment or your um, cotton t-shirt or something like that so um, I like it I think it's a good option um, especially if you know if you're out doing yard work or playing with your kids or um, just doing some exercise or something like that and you didn't want to have to worry about wearing uh, pants that can have you wear a belt. A lot of times it's not comfortable to exercise or do yard work and stuff with a belt on. These are just drawstring pants. You know, you can just um, tie your bow on there and it's not going to affect your jaw or anything because it's, you're up, your gun is up higher. Um, and you could, you know, you could wear this as low as you wanted to. You could wear this down here as long as you had enough material here. Um, I wear a size 34 pant in the waist and this is the large size so um, they have uh, quite a few different options in this but it's really well made it's not one of those cheap little nine dollar uh, belly bands you see where like the velcro fails and stuff like that so um, really interesting product really cool and I'm glad to have it in my arsenal especially being a CCW instructor like I am for USCCA um, I like to show my students all kinds of options because a lot of times they're newbies um, to this, uh, to firearms and the carry of firearms, and I want to show them as many options as possible. So this is definitely a good one um, for people with an athletic lifestyle or an active lifestyle who look are looking for an option. Or women, you see belly bands a lot for women because women. Um, you know, if they wear like a lower rise pant and they don't want to wear a belt, a lot of times women don't wear belts because they have more hips and curves that hold their waistband up higher on their pants. So a belly band option is really good for them. Um, they can wear it in their midsection uh, below the bra line and um, either above or just, just into the waistline of the pants. So check them out, uh, www.craftholsters.com. Again, this is made for them by Falco. Uh, really quality item here. Really impressed with it. So uh, remember to use my code snake doc if you order from them you get 10% off their products. So thank you guys for watching and always shoot safe.